Hi there, um, today I'll be showing you quickly how to add a texture using the transparency mask option in Illustrator. Um, basically you can add any bitmap or vector texture to a vector object pretty easily and it's nice and quick, so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see I've got both my object and the texture I want to add to it here. Um, the beautiful thing about using the transparency mask is you're not limited to vectors, you can use bitmap, jpegs, anything you want. As long as it's a black and white or a grayscale image it should work alright. What's going to happen is that the transparency mask is going to show through areas on the mask that's white and block out areas which are grey or black. So um, to do this, the first step is to group our object together. We're going to make sure that everything is grouped together by pressing Ctrl G while everything is selected. And then we're going to select our texture here and we're just going to cut that to a pasteboard by pressing Ctrl X. Alright, so now we're going to select our, ob our grouped object here. And we're going to come over to our transparency dialog box here. If you don't have this, just go to your window and just tick the transparency one there. You're also going to want to make sure that your uh, this one here is showing. So you want to hit the show thumbnails there and that will bring up all your little extra options. you also got show options which we're not going to cover um, today but yeah, we're just going to go through the basics of this. So what we're going to do with our object selected is we're going to go to this drop down menu here and we're going to go make opacity mask. And the first thing you notice is everything's going to disappear. That's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to make sure our bounding box is around this black area here. As you can notice this little black box comes around it when you select the two. This, this uh, toggles between what, er uh, what you're editing. You're either editing the object or the mask on it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select this black one here. And we're just going to paste in that texture that we cut before by pressing Ctrl V. And as you can see it's pasted in the texture and it's knocking out the areas of the texture which is of a grayscale or a black and adds the texture to our object. Just like that. Pretty easy, huh? Alright, so you're also going to notice while you're in this um, little bounded, this little black area of the bounded box in our texture, um, you can actually move the texture around using the pointer tool if you're not happy with its um, alignment or anything. So you won't be able to actually move your object until you go back to the object itself on this um, little transparency dialog box here. So you're just going to make sure which one you're on, you're either editing the mask or the object itself. Once you move back to the um, object, you can uh, move your object around and put it wherever you want without the mask losing its alignment. So yeah, easy as that. So yeah, nice quick easy tutorial there. Um, I'll make the texture available on my blog for use if you guys want to have a play around with that. Otherwise, uh, feel free to hit the like button if you found this helpful. Also, subscribe. I will be making more tutorials in the future. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.